today we're going to talk about bacon, by far the best food in the whole world. So about four years ago, we had a Peterson family reunion. Matt and Angel, our brother and sister-in-law, were in charge of one of the breakfasts. And Angel baked her bacon. I've only ever just fried bacon. So she baked the bacon and she got a lot more done in a lot less time. And the bacon turned out perfect. It was flat, it was perfect. So um, I want to show you how to bake your bacon. So a few things you need to bake your bacon is a jelly roll pan, some aluminum foil, of course, your bacon, and a plate with some paper towels so that you can kind of um, absorb some of the grease that comes from the bacon. The first thing you do is preheat your oven to 450 degrees. So I'm going to bake. There we go. We've got that going. And the next thing you do is you're going to line your jelly roll pan with aluminum foil. This makes it so there's a lot easier cleanup. So it usually takes two sheets. So get this on. And crimp it over the edges like so. I'll get one more piece. This just makes cleanup so much easier. You still got your baking grease in there, but the cleanup, you don't want anything burnt to the bottom. Okay, we've got that done. The third thing you do is get your bacon, open it up, and get those yummy rascals on sheet ready to cook. So here we go. I just take them out and I put them on. Let's see. These are a little longer, but they'll shrink up. If they're a little longer, it's okay, because they'll just shrink up. And I put them as close as can be, right next to each other. Nothing's better than bacon. Well, I like ham too. Ham's good, but oh, bacon is so good on everything. Sometimes I turn them around if there's thin edges, turn them back and forth kind of so you can um, keep it even. You'll see as you do it depends on the bacon, right? All bacon is not equal in thickness or size and you'll see that as you set your time. Some bacon is thick, some bacon is thin and your time um, will reflect that. I usually started at 15 minutes and then might have to go up to 20 depending on if it's um, thick or not. So here we go. So let's see how many we got on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. We'll do this one later. And I'm going to wash my hands before I pick up this tray and put it in the oven. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. So I just want to make it clear that I'm only doing one tray of bacon today, but I have a double oven. So if I was making it for a large crowd, I would use both ovens and I would make 20 slices of bacon at one time. Super awesome. I don't think it would work quite as well if you use double racks in one oven. I think it would be tough, but one tray of bacon in each oven works beautifully. Okay, and I see that my oven is at 450 now, so I'm going to put it right in there and smell the beautiful bacon smell in just a few minutes. Now, I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. I will check it before then, just because I don't want to ever over crisp or under crisp, and it may need more time if it's thicker. We'll just see, but 15 minutes is a good place to start. Okay. 
I hear the timer, so let's check it. Okay, so let's check to see if it's ready. It all depends on everybody's opinion of bacon, but to me, that looks about perfect. 15 minutes exactly. Perfect. Bacon looks perfect. It looks crisp. Still looks like it has some soft in there. Kind of just pick it up and lay it right down. Just looks perfect. I'm so excited. You should smell it. I wish you could smell it because it is delicious. Smelling delicious. Okay, so I'm going to put this paper towel on top of it and just kind of pat it to get the oil off. I do like a little bit of grease though, I admit. So there you go. Perfect bacon. It's flat. Thank you, Angel, for teaching me how to bake my bacon. And if you like this uh, video, please subscribe. We'd love that.